Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in to another Drunk Edition of Drunk Makeup by Nat D. That's me. Tonight I'm actually going to be bringing you something, bringing you something different. I'm actually gonna tell you about what I'm wearing tonight. Um, I've actually had my makeup on since 8.30 this morning and it's, what time is it babe? No. It's 11 p.m. And so I'm going to show you what I use to keep my makeup intact with literally no touch-ups except my lips because I didn't want to look that ratchet on film. And I didn't even clean up under my under eyes, so you know that shit's legit. So let's get this shit started. Alright, so first I'm going to start with my skincare. I have become obsessed with this brand called Drunk Elephant. Heyo! They're really cool. Um, I've been reading a lot about the brand and I saw a lot of people giving them major hype and I was like, ooh, what is this shit about? And what better way to try it than, you know, I love me some travel sizes. So I invested in these two travel size kits. Um, but before I invested in these two, I was really excited because I've been wanting to try the TLC, Baby facial, Sukarari, Sukari, baby facial, whatever. I wanted to try this for a long time. It's like 80 bucks for the big one, and I heard it's amazing. But then they had like a little travel size guy for only like 21 bucks, and it came with a deluxe size of the face oil. So I was like, Psh, sold. Um, became obsessed instantly, like after the first time I did it. You only use it once a week, it's super powerful. So then I decided to branch out, and I got two more. And so what I basically bought were the two kits that one came with their jelly cleanser and with their La La Retro Whipped Cream Souffle. So I guess it's like a night cream, day cream, whatever. But then I read in conjunction with the baby facial, whatever, um, that you want to use their TLC Framboos Glycolic Night Serum and their oil, whatever. I'm a sucker. So I, I got both of them. It came in that little set. So it came in the Night Bright, and it was like 20 something bucks. I'll list it below. Um, the other one was like 21 bucks. Again, I'll list it below. Um, it's so worth it, like so worth it. So if you wanna try it and you've been wanting to try it, I highly suggest you get it. Um, it's a little active, so it's gonna make your skin a little red or a little sensitive in areas, but it's working. And you don't wanna look like shit and have a little like lizard alligator fucking skin so get your lives together right now okay so that was that with that being said i'm gonna talk about what i did today to get ready and i literally did my makeup in maybe 12 minutes so first of all i became obsessed with the garnier makeup wipes they're like the micellar water in a towelette whatever these actually, this is the one that's like all skin types for waterproof. This shit takes everything off without leaving your skin feeling oily. Um, I like to use the makeup towel to take everything off and then use a cleanser to take off everything that it misses because best believe a makeup little fucking wipe doesn't take everything off. So just get smart, okay? Um, I always do my eyes first. Oh, well then I put moisture, I wash my face, put moisturizer on, whatever. So anyway. Um, next up, I did the Urban Decay Eden uh, eyeshadow primer potion. It was awesome. Um, I just did that from lash line to brow bone just to get something quick. So I am obsessed with the Sephora Waterproof Shadow Liner Jumbo Sticks. Um, I love this matte color called Pretty Little Thing. It's just a neutral color like so. And I used that on my lid after the Eden. And then what I did is I took Frosted Pink from the I Want Candy palette and I just put my finger in it and then pressed it on top because I just put the stick of Sephora on my lid. Press the other one on top, but watch this shit, okay? So that's it by itself. It's super pigmented. But look how much prettier it is when you like pack it on top of this guy. Oh yeah, right? like. Totally changes the color, makes it more pink and prettier. So anyway, so I did that on my lid. 
And then I was like, all right, let's get this shit on the road. My favorite liquid liner in the whole wide world is Stila Stay All Day Waterproof in, I don't know, it's only in one color, intense black, because the rest of the colors are whatever. But this gives you the perfect wing. Like literally you just place it and swipe and then just drag it. If you want to use liquid liner but are scared, start with the Stila. I promise you, you will not regret it, okay? And you will not regret it because it looks fucking amazing. I, well, I'm not gonna go to mascara yet because I truthfully didn't go there first. But my primer was the Fenty Beauty Foundation Primer followed by the Fenty Beauty Foundation. And um, I'm actually between 210 and 220 right now, so I'm mixing both, two pumps of each. Um, so I did two pumps of 210, two pumps of 220, and then I put it all over my face. Then um, I love Tarte Shape Tape, and I use the color light medium because it's fucking awesome, and it gives really good coverage, especially when you haven't had any sleep. Speaking of not having sleep, so I've been working a lot, and I just have been really tired, so I've been wearing a lot of makeup to work because I'm like, mm, it's gonna be like, by end of day, like, all over, but you know when you love what you do, it just doesn't matter. So tonight, the reason I had a little good pregame and thought, you know what, let me talk about what I'm wearing tonight, even though I have no touch-ups. This is all natural from 8.30 this morning. Um, we had our marketing team, because I work for our marketing, I work in marketing. We had our marketing team, like early Thanksgiving potluck, and look how cute. Our boss gave us these with our name on them. And he was really hoping the Dodgers were gonna win the World Series, so it would have even more meaning. But they did it, but I love the gift. It's super sweet and super cute, and I had so much fun tonight. And I had a good, a good pregame from that. Oh, I hate the sound of slurping, I'm so sorry. I love Laura Mercier's translucent powder, and I love the travel size because I use it, and then I set my under eye area with it. Love it. Like, it just leaves your under eye area looking very luminous, very light very set and non-wrinkly and I need that right now. To set my face, I've become really obsessed with this Urban Decay Illuminizer Translucent Press Beauty Powder. So much so, that's all I have left right now. There you go replenish, cause I'm about to like, I hit pan, bitches. I hit pan on this shit. Look how pretty it is, like a little rainbow, right? But I love it so much and it's really amazing and there's days that I felt like shit and I've shot film like for the videos and I look like airbrushed and there's days I've taken photos and I looked airbrushed and I realized it's a fucking powder so I need to buy it. Um, I used on my cheeks first Yacht Life by Rihanna. It is a cream blush super pretty it's a pinky peach almost like orgasm by NARS so I just did a little bit here and then I used the Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Girl Next Door Chic Freak I actually used the Chic Freak color on top of it it's so freaking pretty look at that shit like ugh. okay um it didn't do a highlighter because I was just again in a hurry and I need to get my life together so I ended up just leaving it be. Um, I then went back with my favorite mascara in the whole wide world, Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara and Waterproof. So everything else just looks fucked up on me. So I do like this mascara, it's really pretty. It doesn't smudge and smear everywhere. I just realized I'm a big fucking liar and I did put some highlight on. I used Confetti. As you all know, I love me some confetti. I did a little bit of that here, 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 and then I was even like in the inner corners because I was trying to just fucking look glitterific, fucking unicorn status for work today. Um, so I did do a little bit, but I think it might have faded by now. Again, makeup on since 8.30 this morning, it's now after 11 p.m., so. Um, my brows, always, 
Anastasia Beverly Hills brow uh, definer. I can't remember, remember if brow definer or brow was. But I use the color blonde and I just pencil in and define my shit up real quick. And then lastly, I used for my lips the Smashbox Always Sharp Lip Liner in Peony. Okay, I love this. Because you'll wear your lip liner down and you're like, fuck, I need a sharpener. This one's great because you will have a little nub and then you put it in here. Hear the little? And that bitch is sharp as fuck. You see that? I love that. I worked for Smashbox for a really long time and I really love them and will always appreciate them. So it's like a waterproof liner. I penciled my whole lip in with it and then the piece de resistance is the Fenty lipstick in, Lord, Starlet. I'm just fucking drunk right now. Um, it's that color right up there. Um, just went over top like so. Yeah, girl. And then of course, eyeshadow or lash curler, Shiseido. I don't know, whatever. Bitches love swatches. Just like they like pumpkin spice lattes. Anyway, um, so that being said, I just wanted to share with you my look for the day because I felt like my makeup held up really well for no touch-ups, working since, having it on since 8.30 p.m., having a full work day, having a full party with the whole marketing team, and then now filming this video for you all. Um, there's nothing worse than like putting makeup on people who have lizard-like skin alligator like skin it's really sad just take care of it it's not very hard if if you literally can only do two things then fine use a good makeup wipe and put some fucking moisturizer on yourself like I know people who don't wear moisturizer that's just gross like your skin needs to drink too and not alcohol like literally it needs nutrients and then you wonder why you look old and you have to like tell people that you're not really 50 when you really are only 27. I don't know. Thank you all for tuning in to another drunk edition of Drunk Makeup by Nat D. That's me. Don't forget to like my page and subscribe down below or the other side, whatever. And tell your fucking friends because the more the merrier, motherfuckers. So, Cheers to me, cheers to you. Cheers to skincare called Drunk Elephant because it has a berry in it that's supposed to make elephants get drunk. Give me that fucking berry, sounds delicious. And girl, don't say bye, say hi. Until next time. Shit, I forgot to bring it into the fucking. This is what happens when you do videos drunk last minute, okay?